How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another camera tutorial. What I want to show you is more with the mouse, but it is for the camera. Now what I've noticed in a lot of games and what you need to realize when you're making video games is it's not all just programming how the player moves or how the enemy AI works or anything like that. What's really behind a lot of the magic is the camera. Now we've already gone over how to actually make a look ahead camera, which is a very cool type of camera to make. But what I want to show you here is kind of like a panable camera. Now, this is not going to be a panable camera that you're probably thinking where you hold down a button and you can pan across the entire map. This is more just like an edge detector. So it's going to kind of like you're, you're going to be able to move the mouse around the screen. And it's going to be able to pan through the edges just ever so slightly. So you get a little bit of what's going on past the player. And this is actually going to bring your game to life. I promise you. So what I did over the weekend was I, I participated in a game jam, which was 72 hours long. You had three days to kind of make up a game from their theme. And I kind of developed this system. I had, I had messed around with it before. But it wasn't until like the 18th try did I get it correct the way that I wanted it to feel. And I feel almost that it kind of became a mistake. Like I think I wasn't supposed to make it this way. And by making it this way, I realized that it was actually kind of awesome and it works perfectly for what I wanted to do versus I didn't want it to be an edge detector where if I put my mouse to the right side of the screen, it would keep going. I just wanted it to kind of show me a little bit like a peak. So I guess that's what I'll call it. I'll call it the peak camera. Maybe there's a more uh, intelligent term for it that you probably know of. But like I said, camera positioning, camera control, everything about the camera is really what I'm aiming to teach you here and get drilled into your head that camera, the camera in a game is very, very important. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disable this because this is my look ahead camera here. And uh, actually, you know what? We can kind of, let's not disable the every tick. Let's just disable these two. And that way we can come back to it because I still want to keep my every tick I, I, or my every tick. I keep, I want to keep my look ahead camera, but I, I just want to disable it for right now so I can show this to you because you can't really do both. I tried combining both and yes, you can, but it kind of looks a little wonky. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add in a different kind of lerp. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy and paste this. And what I want to do here is I want to take this and put this in the every tick. Now I'm going to hit D again to disable that. So actually it'll become enabled for me. Let me zoom in here so you can see this and let's double click on this and see what we have. So this is actually kind of perfect that we have it set up this way because we already have our look ahead, our camera height and our camera speed, which are nice variables to use with any kind of camera that you set up. But what we're going to do here is we're going to actually change up our code a little bit. So let's kind of delete all this and we're going to type in lerp. And what I want to lerp between is this. I want to lerp between my object player let me find my player here. And I want to lerp uh, my object player X position because this is the X coordinate to set. And I want to lerp between that and I want to lerp between my mouse dot absolute X position. And I want to do this at my camera speed, just like that. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab the absolute X or the absolute X location of the mouse. And it's actually going to kind of pull it. It's going to stretch it a little bit. And this is what's going to be really cool about this. So let me just finish this up and I'll show you what I need to do. So we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to say lerp between the object player dot X or sorry, dot Y. And we're going to say, uh, hmm, let's think. Well, this is where we could do the camera height as well. And you could actually do the look ahead here. It actually works better with the height for this kind of camera for this like peak peaking camera. So what we're going to do is, well, we can put in the height after. I just want to show you what this is going to do. Enough of me talking about it. So we're going to say mouse.absolute y, and then we're going to say again for camera speed and hit OK. Cool. So now I'm going to hit save and let's hit play. Now you're going to notice a few things here. You're going to notice this. So this is exactly what I was talking about. Now. We're kind of not moving at all and that's okay. I think we'll say that for another tutorial to actually make the gun follow the mouse. But you can actually see here that it's going to lock at the center of the player and you can move or you can peek from right to left. And this is what I really, really wanted because I think that this kind of motion gives only so much to the imagination. Like it's like, oh, well I really wanna know what's over here. Let me take a look. And then you wanna go for yourself and explore. 
So that's kind of the look and feel I wanted. And this is pretty much centered on the player. But as an alternative, you can also subtract from the Y, just like we do in the look ahead camera. So we're gonna subtract from the player's Y of camera height. Now camera height equals 10 pixels. So let's bump that up to like 50 and hit save. Just so we can see here where this is actually going to put it. So it's a lot higher up and you can see that, that it's going to position the camera a lot higher up, which is also pretty useful in my opinion when it comes to making these kinds of games. So that is how we make a peaking camera. I really do hope that you found this interesting. This is all going for my dynamic projectile series because I like the dynamic projectiles. I think it's a really fun way to actually learn more game feel techniques than you would normally find from videos like this. So I hope you enjoyed this camera technique. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I am Jeremy Alexander, and I'll see you next time.